this is uh, the solo, the original solo from the uh, Razor X album called uh, Second Heat. And uh, the reason for this little video, because I know that this song has been it has been massively covered on YouTube, but um, I actually noticed that 95% uh, of whatever is present on YouTube regarding this song is is uh, not tutorials they are showcases and so i really thought that i was in need for especially the um, not necessarily the riffs because the riffs has also been covered uh, uh, tutorials uh, with the riffs but i really think that uh, the solo is such a gem so um, i wanted to to make a little uh, tutorial with how to play that song uh, to how to play that solo because the solo is in my opinion the perfect balance between really strong melody uh, harmonies phrasing and uh, shred in the original lineup uh, there were two guitar players obviously paul gilbert but also um, bruce bullier you'll hear a lot of uh, solo and harmony dueling uh, between uh, Paul Gilbert and Bruce Bullier. The first thing that happens in the solo is a little harmony between uh, Paul Gilbert and Bruce Bullier, um, where they play this this little harmonic minor um, harmony. And I play this part um, where on, where I start on the D string, playing 16, 17, 19, and then move into the G string, playing 15. And as you as you can hear in the backing track, I. Um, played the other, um, also played the harmonies that to make it sound a little better. And then uh, very simple, just play 17 on the high E string and you can either, either prove, use the, the whammy bar and actually it's interesting because uh, Paul Gilbert used uh, the, the whammy bar a lot in those days and he was actually really good at it I think. He was really making some really cool phrasing with the whammy bar which is Thing, in my opinion that is, is missing today but anyway that's just my taste um, and then you move it down to the G string playing 12 and I uh, roll up my index finger to the 12th fret on the G string as well and then 14 15 and also very uh, aggressive um, nice and aggressive uh, vibrato and then I move into the B string playing 16 with my in, uh, with my long finger because then I move into the 15th on the high E string and then 17 and then I just accent I put some kind of an accent on the 17th fret the second time I play it on the high E string and then I play this little triplet feel thing here 17 18 17 15 on the high E string and I go down to the uh, 18 on the B string and then back to, to 15 on the high E string and then 16 on the B string and then we get this little D major and sliding down to the 14th fret. And then we play a bend on the G string 5th fret. And then make, at make use of at least uh, f 3 fingers to make it easy to bend uh, a full note. And then I play a, a, a series, a long series of pull-offs, but I start here on the G string again, uh, playing pull-off from 8 to 7 to 5, and then hammering on to this 8th fret on the D string. So 8, 7, 5, hammering on to 7 on, or 8 on the D string, and that's I only play one picking stroke for that. And then I move into uh, a very fast um, legato phrase here. And I use as few picking strokes as possible. So I play one picking stroke here on the G string, and then it goes like this: 10, 8, 10, 8, 7. And then I don't use the pick for the D string at all. I move into the D string, 10, hammering on to 10, pulling off to 8, 7, and hammering on again. And then move into the G string with one picking stroke on the seventh fret, hammering on to 8, 7, se uh, 10. And then I move into the B string and uh, playing one picking stroke here on the 8th and then hammer on to 9, 10. And then what happens is I grab the whammy bar and I press it down 
as I simultaneously slide the little finger from the 11th fret into the 13th fret, giving that specific sound that you can only get with the whammy bar. And then I move back to the previous pattern here on the um, I keep the whammy bar between my fingers here for this next legato phrase because I'm gonna manipulate it just a little bit from the B string and goes like this 11, 8, 10, 11, 10, 8 and then into the G string with a hammer on 10, pulling off to 8, 7 and then I go like this on the D string 10, 8, 7, sliding into 8, hammering on to 10, pulling off to 8 hammering on to 10 on the A string and then using the pick to play 8 on the D string. And then uh, actually the other guitar plays uh, 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6 on the E and A string. But I skipped that part because the other guitar plays that. I have enough space to move into this uh, pentatonic or G minor uh, uh, arpeggio uh, played mostly with uh, legato, the legato technique. So I play one picking stroke and then a G string, hammering on from 10 to 12, 15, and then to the high E string, 10, uh, 13, 15, and then I tap 18, pulling those notes off again. So I skip the B string, moving into 15 on the G, pulling off to 10, uh, 12, 10, and moving back again. Um, with no picking strokes at all on the G string this time, and also no picking strokes uh, on the high E string, just hammering on to 10, uh, hammering on to 13 and 15, and then this time I tap 20. From that 20 I pull off again to the same notes, uh, and after the notes pulled off on the G string, I actually skip the D string and move with my ring finger into the A string, 13th fret, sliding down to 10. And we have this muted alternate picking phrase. It's the sixth position of the major scale played from G. So we play 3, 5, 6 on the E, 3, 5, 6 on the A, and then on the D we play 3, 5, 7, and all that is the same on the T string. And then I just move into the fourth fret on the B string, moving back again to uh, the G string, uh, seventh fret, pulling off to five. And then I play, and I play the seventh, hammering on to eight, pulling off to seven, five, and um, a little pinch harmonic on the G string, seventh fret. And then we move into the rock and roll phrase. Fifteen on the high E string, hammering on to uh, seventeen and pulling off again. And then I hammer on to, to the eighteenth fret. On the B string, and then I play the 15th fret again on the high E string with, with, with the pick, and then I play as well the 18th fret on the high E string, pulling off to 17 and 50, and then I bend the 18th fret on the high E string. A full bend, and then I play pull offs again from 18 to 17 and 15 on the high E string. And then 18 on the high on the B string, back again to the 15th on the high E string, and after 15 on the high E string, I move back to the 18th on the B string, bending 18 a full bend, and then playing three uh, um, ghost bends. And then I play this little legato phrase here with one picking stroke on 13. 15, hammering on to 16, pulling off to 15, 13, and hammering on again to 15. And then I uh, play a lot of legato uh, phrases again, or legato patterns. Because I play 18 on the B string, I move the whole hand up here to play a new shape. So playing 18, pulling off to 16, 15, playing 20, pulling off to 18, 16. And then I play this little phrase that took a, a while for me to get up to speed, I must say. For some reason, I play with my ring finger uh, 20, hammering on to 22 or 22nd, pulling off again to 20, pulling off to 18, sliding into 20, 
and then hammering on to 22, 23, pulling off again to 22 and 20, and then playing 21st on the D string, moving back again to uh, the 20th on the B string, and then bending the 22nd fret one half step. After that, we actually move into a part where they play a harmony again, uh, Bruce Boulier and Paul Gilbert. And um, I wouldn't actually say that it's a part of the solo, but it's a pretty cool piece that he never plays whenever he plays uh, Scary Fight these days. This is a typical Paul Gilbert uh, 80s and 90s uh, phrase on the A string here he plays. 10, 12, 13, up to the 10th fret on the D string. With the index finger back again to 13, 12, 10 on the A. Up again to the D, playing 10, 12, 13. And then into the G string playing 10, uh, 12, 14, and into the B string playing 11, 13, 15. And then you move back to the G string playing 12, 14, 15, and into the B string playing 13, 15, 16. And then uh, there's really fast uh, paced um, alternate picking, also a very typical Paul Gilbert style drill. Uh, he plays him and Bruce Boulier. They play uh, between the D and G string. Um, those are the notes anyway. Um, this is the pattern and they uh, repeat that uh, three times. 17, 19, 20 uh, on the D and then moving into the G string 17th fret back again to 20, 19, um, 17. And after that, they play the same notes, but a little different pattern. It goes like this, uh, 17, 19, 20, and then uh, they move twice between the G and D string. 17 on the G, 20 on the D, 17 on the G, and then back again to the D string playing 20, 19, 17. And this really takes a lot of uh, control of the pick, bit moving bit twice between the D and G string. So really make sure that you, when you come back from the G string, that you really get um, move the pick outside of the D string, so you don't get this, you don't get that problem. So this is a, a drill you could actually move, uh, do 